What's going on everybody? You've probably already heard the news in the industry, in the hobby, that PWCC sells to fanatics. Uh, as we can see here by the title of this article, just jumping right into it. Oregon Sports Card Company, PWCC sells to fanatics. So I wanna make sure that I make this video to give you my thoughts and reactions about it because after a couple days of the news break and there's already a lot of murmurs and chirping going on about what this really does mean, not only for PWCC, not only for fanatics, but sports and sports cards, sports memorabilia, hobby, and all of that. Uh, what does that mean? So let's dive into this article. Uh, this article is by Mike Rogoway, the Oregonian. Lake Oswego Sports Card Company, PWCC Marketplace, sold its business Monday to Fanatics. Um, just a few days late on this. Uh, let's see, uh, Fanatics Collectibles, a rapidly growing sports memorabilia company based in New York. Quote, we acquired PWCC as a strategic long-term decision for the business that will allow us to further enhance and support the broader collector ecosystem. Okay. Fanatics Vice President AC Betts wrote in an email Tuesday, Betts wrote that buying PWCC, quote, will give us the opportunity to further build and strengthen on the foundation that exists today and ultimately deliver a lot of value to our fans slash collectors. The companies didn't report terms of their deal. No surprise there. PWCC's 125 employees will remain with the business, according to Betts, who said, quote, it's business as usual for the time being. Interesting. Time being. Quote, it is critical that we take the time to properly evaluate the business, best practices and compliance, Betts wrote. Long-term health is vital for our business and the ecosystem at large, which is why we're going to th uh, thoughtfully integrate the PWCC platform into Fanatics Collectibles, end quote. Founded in 1998, PWCC is among the most popular place for collectors to buy and sell trading cards. It also operates a vault in Oregon where clients store their collections. And I don't know about you, I've never used uh, PWCC's vault uh, services. I know I think eBay has one now too. If you guys have used that vault services, let me know down in the comments below. I'm kind of curious because like I said, I've never done it. But I know people that do. Uh, you can buy a card off the website. It'll stay there for when you want to sell it or to protect it. Me personally, I kind of want it in person, in hand. PWCC promotes sports cards as akin to fine art. Assets with an enthusiastic following and an opportunity to produce strong investment returns. But its business has been plagued by allegation that cards sold on its site has been manipulated to increase their value and it was kicked off eBay in 2001 amid accusations that people associated with PWCC engaged in, quote, shill bidding, which we still see today. I am sold on it, maybe not with PWCC, but on eBay, there is still shill bidding. That's a conversation for another day. To drive out the price of the cards. Earlier this month, PWCC laid off 30 employees, about a fifth of its staff, most of the layoffs were in Oregon. Was PWCC kind of going under? Were they plundering a little bit before they sold to Fanatics? Maybe they had to sell to Fanatics, otherwise they were going to go out of business. These are things to consider. <clears throat> Fanatics has licensing deals with all the ma major North American sport leagues. It bought the top trading card line last year in a deal reportedly worth $500 million and owns the Lid Sports Apparel brand. Fanatics is also pursuing sports betting with a deal last week to buy the U.S. operations of the Point Bet Online Sportsbook for $150 million. Quote, PWCC has built a strong business with great tech at leading marketplace and vault, Betts wrote. Bringing them into Fanatics collectibles will give us the opportunity to further build and strengthen on the foundation that exists today and ultimately deliver a lot of value to our fans slash collectors. I kind of gave you my thoughts through and through uh, this article, but a lot of people are talking about a monopoly growing with Fanatics. Tops, they're going to get uh, Panini, I'm sorry, they're going to get football and basketball in a few years. Obviously, they purchased PWCC. <laughs> Fanatics is building a brand, a company, an empire, and they have the funds and the resources to do so. Is this good or bad for the hobby? I see both sides. Good 
it's all be coming under one roof or eventually will be all under one roof. The bad, again, it's that monopoly side of things where since it's all under one roof, if there's corruption, if there's, uh, let's say they just jack up the prices on a bunch of things, well, you don't have many alternatives to go to because, well, if you want baseball cards, you're buying from, uh, you're buying from Fanatics. In a few years, if you want basketball cards, you're buying from Fanatics. Same thing with football. So as of right now, I think this is a good move. I like what they're doing. Fanatics, they're trying to really make sports cards and collectibles on the forefront of media attention. Obviously, the hobby, of course. Uh, social media platforms, card shows, events, just anything and anywhere. They're trying to get the name out there. They're trying to get sports cards out there. They're trying to get uh, sports memorabilia out there. So from that perspective, I think it's all a good thing. I mean, if they didn't buy PWCC, we're not talking about it today. So them buying PWCC puts it in the news, allows me to make this video for you, allows you to kind of think about it over the next couple of days. For PWCC though, where they had layoffs and they sold to sold the company to Fanatics, it does make me think that they might have been going under a little bit. I don't want to get to I don't want to make accusations or assumptions, but why else unless the offer was just way too good to refuse, why else would you sell your whole company to another company, right? PWCC to Fanatics. We already saw the layoffs. PWCC does have competition out there as an online marketplace. There's eBay, um, Golden Auction, Heritage Auction, a bunch of auction places out there. However, PWCC did have a vault. eBay, I think, now has a vault. So I want to know what the terms are before I fully rationalize whether this was really good or really bad for PWCC, Fanatics, The Hobby, etc. But as of right now, I'm tentatively going to say that it was a really good thing. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Is this a good thing for the hobby? Is this a bad thing for the hobby? What do you think? I want to know. So leave them down in the comment section below. But that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, I've queued up an excellent video right there for you guys that I do believe is going to be excellent for your hobby endeavors. Hopefully, I'll see you in that one.